What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm using my phone right now, so my bad. I left the GoPro upstairs. I literally just woke up. My eyes kind of red, but yeah, you know I'm saying you gotta wake up early to do things, especially if you only have one day off from work. So right now we're in the court. As you can see, kind of dirty. I'm gonna go take her to wash first, and then I haven't been posting in a, in a while because I've been working. Like basically seven days a week except today i have finally have a day off so hope that's why i'm finally gonna post today today's monday so i don't know when this video is gonna, gonna be able to post it but hopefully whenever i post it you guys understand why i haven't been posting is because i've been working a lot of hours but i have a surprise to show you guys in, in a minute you guys are gonna be a little bit shocked but we're gonna wash this car first and then we're gonna wash my other car so yeah, let's get to it. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Beautiful today. Really beautiful. No rain, finally. So, yeah, I just pulled up at the car wash. About to go inside real quick. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to record the washing my car, you know, to make people feel uncomfortable. And I ain't that tight. So, yeah, I'm already at the car wash. Going to wash the cord first. And like I said, after the cord, we're going to wash the next whip. So, yeah, let's wait for this Camry, Avalon, whatever, to hurry the fuck up. And we go do our thing. See, right now we're, getting, we're next in line car wash by our boy over here you know i don't want to put him in the camera you know what i'm saying he's doing his thing but yeah so once i'm done with the car wash i'll show you guys what's going to come next which is the next car i keep repeating it because you know you'll see so i just got done with the car wash the car is super clean right now i gotta go to um to the auto store first i forgot i gotta make a quick stop to the auto store get a couple things supplies air fresheners because i got it's all me, man. I'm always about my car smelling good, bro. I hate any bad smell, bro. I have to, everything that I have or own has to be clean, bro. Look at all those fucking... I ain't playing, bro. Like, shit. <laughs> almost all my cars have... Almost all my cars have that fucking air freshener. I love that black ice, man. That's all me right there. So I'm gonna go to the auto store, get some black ice and some other stuff I need. And then from there, we'll go home. So we just came from the auto store and I got needed that New Jersey law. You can't have bags no more. So a lot of states is like that already, but over here they started that shit. So literally they just gave me everything in my hand. So, yeah. You can imagine going to a grocery store and if you don't have like the money to buy those bags and shit, and you gotta carry like let's say like small items like a milk, like two gallons of milks and bread and shit, people think you're gonna steal that shit if you walk out the store like that without no bags. That shit that shit gonna be funny. But we got this this which is like some microfiber pads so i can apply this sealant you'll see why in a minute if you guys see see the title on the, the thumbnail you already know what it's for but if you don't understand the title on the thumbnail then you don't you don't know what it is yet but anyways the cord is clean I need these washers and I should, yeah i gotta take all this up to the, the garage and open the garage and i'm gonna show you walk around with the car i actually gotta apply on um, tire shine they didn't do that like the only thing that they didn't do in the car wash was kind of fail. So yeah, no tire shine. So before and look at that. Look at that cleanness. She's clean though. Big blue Urkel. Orca said Urkel. She clean. Yeah. Now, if, if you haven't been staying on like um, social media, like my Instagram, Facebook, then you don't know or understand what you're about to see in a minute. But. I'm gonna show you guys some uh, some clips first, and then we get on to the present. So I'm gonna show you the past, and then we go on to the present. 
So let's see that transition real quick. Oh, that's our house. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Look, another one. Orange. Yeah, this is ugly compared to that, though. Yeah. I don't like that airbrush. That's airbrush. It's not done. This is, when we sand it off. Uh, we're going to paint it today, though. All right. Remember to the garage, man. Another techie, man. Can it stay without one? Definitely gonna look better than the way it looks now, man. This is the before. Watch the after. Happy as hell I got this shit back. I missed my old one. Look at that shit. Look how that shit's coming out. See those flakes, bro? She's coming out good. Damn. Yeah, so this is like the first stage. I haven't thrown clear coat on it. Clear coat, but here you got a little bit of clear coat over here. Let's spray the first layer of clear. You can see how it's shiny. Oh, she looks amazing, bro. Look at that. Amazing. Look like some galaxy shit. First Integra with this shit. I'm pretty sure. First Integra with this black galaxy looking thing. So this is the finished product of Integra. It's wet right now. So you can see how it looks. The only thing I didn't paint yet was the roof. And that's because it has damage here. And over there. So uh, I gotta get like body filler and whatever. To make sure the roof is fine. And then I'll paint that. But the rest of the car is painted. Right now it's with soap and wet because I'm washing it. But you can see the sparkles in it. it looks crazy. It's like depending where that light hits it, it looks so crazy. That's all soap, that's why it's like whitish. The soap. It looks crazy. It looks super crazy. I'm happy how it came out. Just gotta keep it finished washing it so I get pictures and shit. Look at this shit. After looks amazing. Alright, so now that you've seen that those clips of the Need for Speed Underground Integra, call the Need for Speed Underground Integra because as you can see the car is orange and has like those decals, like those vinyl decals animated, like anime. 
style stickers that kind of look like Need for Speed when you when you detail your car when you customize it and shit. And I can show you guys a glimpse. The car still has one of those decals left, which is on top of the hood, sadly. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about. That's actually airbrushed into the car. That's not a sticker. That's not a sticker. That's airbrushed in. They airbrushed uh, most of the car. Like it had the front bumper and the back bumper and the hood were black. So the rest of the car that was orange was actually airbrushed orange. Or I don't, I'm not really 100% sure, but I already I know the designs were airbrushed orange. That's what the owner told me. So yeah, now the car is. black with those flakes inside of it which is like glitter i have to wash the car the car is dirty that's what i'm planning on doing today but yeah what you guys think about that need for speed underground style integra or you like the way it looked before or you like the way it looks now she's dirty but yeah i like how she looks now I got the wing. It's actually underneath all this bullshit. Just gotta paint it and put it on. And the rims. Supposedly I have some rims to pick up today. The owner's the owner of the rims that I'm about to buy from said at six o'clock today, so six o'clock today I should have rims for this car. Yeah. What do you guys think about this? I like it. I like I said I didn't finish the hood. The reason for not finishing the hood is because I mean the the top the roof of the car because it has damage like you can see right here damage here and over there so it has a few damage spots that's the only reason that I haven't f finished the roof and also I've been working I work a lot so I don't really have time like this literally took me a week just to do spray canned it not in professional yet no. I just wanted the car to be one color the whole car one color like i plan on uh, wrapping the roof the roof um something cool you guys will see in one of the next videos plan on wrapping it after i fix the damage and i'm not going to paint that because it's, it's going to take too much work especially doing it from that angle spray canning it it's not come out bad so i'm just going to paint the wing put it on and then wrap the roof besides that the car is amazing i love this it's fun it's got to deal with some little kinks and ish, uh, kinks and little issues here and there. I was driving it the the other day at my job, and then I tried to start it again, try to restart it, and for some reason it didn't want to. It just kept on cranking, 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 and the car didn't want to start. So, yeah. But the interior is dope. We got some Toyota Celica GT seats, which I love. They sit low. Interior is as cool as meant, like. I ain't got no complaints besides that. The roof it has a little bit of damage on there. But I don't really give a fuck. And the gauges. Let me switch to the gauges. The gauges are like that. Which I really don't like. But again, need for speed underground style. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave it like that because you know, this car was need for speed underground style too. Uh style. And no radio. I have one. I just haven't put it yet. Um This is like loose there thrown out i think they broke the bolts so i gotta check that out uh the clutch i think the slave is loose so right now i'm actually gonna go and tie in that like the slave like you know the mount where you hold the the slave cylinder in place one of the bolts is like they stripped it so it's like it moves when you press the clutch in it's fucking stupid i'll show you guys that in a minute which I'm, that's why i'm that's what i'm about to fix right now but yeah Besides that, the car is pretty clean. You know, it doesn't have the, the, the hood liner. That's about it. It doesn't have the hood liner. It has everything else. No, no airbag here. It has the stock steering wheel. Everything pretty much works. Like I said, it just has little kinks that I need to fix. So, this is what I'm talking about right here. Just a slave cylinder. And let me see if I could do it. Shit up. Look, oh, there we go. It's not supposed to do that. It has play, and I think that's what's causing the why it's causing the pedal to feel weird. The clutch pedal to feel weird as fuck. So I'm gonna kind of try to fix that with. Fuck, where I put the washers at? Some pressure washers because they stripped it. So I will have to re-drill 
rethread it. I don't have the tools for that right now, so I just bought I just bought some um, some pressure washers. So basically, I'm gonna take that bolt out because the one that's stripped is this side right here. Take that bolt out and put the pressure washer, two pressure washers or one, whatever, and then tighten it. And hopefully, it stays stuck and it doesn't move. If, as long as I don't have this play, I'm happy, bro. So I'm gonna try one first and then I'll try two. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll get back. So I tightened this a little bit more than I could, so it's kind of stiffer, better. Still gotta bleed the clutch. And I got a whole bunch of holes that are like just thrown. So I gotta figure out these holes. So I got this air intake because they had none. And I have a cone over there somewhere that I'm gonna throw on it. So yeah, I'm gonna put that intake and all these loose ass sensors just thrown around and connect it together. So this is what I got so far. That's how it looks. Put the sensor back on over here. Uh, I had to custom make a hole here and put the tube in there so I could have that. Um, what else I did? Yeah, and then these two connected here. Uh, two pieces connected. I had to cut a piece of metal to connect them together. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I did. And I added the the band and the cone. That's about it. Tie in uh, re this. I had to move it over here for the fan. The wire was touching the the fucking um the holes. And I tie in this as you guys saw. And that's about it. That's all I did so far. Now I'm just gonna drive it around. I gotta freaking fix that battery. I still gotta do a lot of shit here. But for now, that's it. Let's see how she runs. So yeah, let's go in the cockpit, all right? Let's go do it. the car wash right now we got the integra first time in the car wash yeah hope you guys like that little pool that we did but i'm gonna have sophia record right turn right there she's gonna record me washing the car for the first time and then from there we're going oh great machine don't work nothing new
so I forgot. <clears throat> my bad. I'm getting sick, I think. I forgot to buy uh, rags to drive the car. So now I just, I'm gonna have to drive it wet out of here. But whatever, man. It's hot outside. When I get home, I will just um, re wipe her down with a rag, and then I'm gonna use. Um, I have this. The if you, when you if you watched the video earlier, you saw that I bought this protection thing for the paint so that it won't get damaged from the sun. It's like your UV protection. It's like a sealant, basically. So it was like fucking 30 bucks. But anyway, so I'm gonna apply that when I go in the garage. When I park it in the garage, when, after I dry it, I'm gonna apply that sealant on it so that the paint don't get damaged. I'm just happy that the paint didn't come off when I was pressure washing it. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys the car now. It looks better. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. After this, right now, we're probably gonna do a few more pulls in the highway. But I'm going to my mom's house. Like I said, it's my only day off. I'm gonna see my mom, my brothers and sisters, and drink some coffee and do my thing. And then in the next video, hopefully I do some more in deep, like more in deep video of the Integra, like doing more pulls and stuff like that. Cause that's what I like, that's what I'm about. I like doing pulls, you know, more action than cinematic. But let's get to with these pulls. And if it's the end of the video and I don't get to say the outro, I hope you guys liked this video, enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more videos of the Integra, the Accord, the TSX, and the Corolla whenever I ever have the, you know, bread to work on that. But stay tuned for more videos of me. Help me reach that thousand subscriber mark. I still got that goal. The grind don't stop. Even if I only have one day off, you can see right now, my day off, still making videos for you guys. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned. And enjoy what you're about to see. Peace. Hold it. Roll down the window because it's hot. The heck was that? Huh? The heck was that? What? The boom. Had a foggy ass. Oh shit, I forgot my white wipers on. See, this is. They think this is a race, fully race car. They took out the white and shit. I'm telling my girl, I feel fucking wet. I can't even touch the pedal. That's terrorizing the city. No, my man, gotta come out slowly. Huh? Gotta come out slowly. Fucking cars. Not even that low when it's still screaming. It's like exhaust. The headers. Man, this thing's flying. Holy issue where your shoes are wet and you try to press the clutch and your foot just slips off the clutch every fucking time it's annoying as fuck that's what's happening right now your foot is wet it's soapy Green man, I got coffee to get. Oh my god, it's still
annoying little kids. See? Perfect. It's like daddy daycare in the fucking all together with, with Cortez Hop. Imagine I'm about to open that shit. Remember, Google it. Cortez Hop. I'm about to open that shit.